Lovejoy. Adore the suit. It's part of the undertaker's job that I bought off you. I expect that style's all the rage again in Covent Garden. Wouldn't get so out of touch in our quiet little rural corner. What's, um, what's going on? Strangers in the night. Yobbo's pinched some gold coins, probably feeding them into slot machines as we speak. I want to see those caricatures you've kept. Tomorrow, OK? All right, Petal. Right them out. Yeah. What's with the suit? Are you in court? I suppose the jaundiced eye of the law sees the worst in everyone. Goes with the job, boy. And what happens to you? What's the deal? If I know what's been stolen, I can recognize it when I'm offered it at a third of the value by some shifty tea leaf. Then I can report it to you. Snap it up and flug it off and fire off parts, more like. How can you think such a thing? <laughs> it's one of the many reasons why you're in our police computer, love Joy. Vandals. What coins did they get, darling? Two gold Oreos. Donated by J.R. Bexon. Roman province of Isle of Man. Tenacity, stamina, courage, and character. All those qualities which you so sadly lack. Did your mother tell you that? Probably. How is she? She's okay. She's up with the guitar lessons. She's into ceramics now. And what about your stepfather? What's his name? He's making a mint. What about you? You're still terribly broke. What are you talking about? I pay these school fees, don't I? And your skiing trip to Zermatt? I do admit I have the occasional fiscal crisis, but. I'm doing fine, Kate, really am. Fine. Mummy says you don't have a pot to piss in. I had a superb pot. Porcelain Ting Bowl, Hope Province, circa 1050, but your mum got that. Can we uh, sit down? I got tired watching you. Hang on, I want to hear the result. You won. It's a team event, if you know what that means. Still interested in the Romans? I like Italian waiters. <laughs> Seriously, it was always your pet subject. So? So, um, did they ever colonize the Isle of Man? I'm speaking of Claudius' time, Suetonius. Suetonius was governor general in Nero's reign, but he spent most of his time chasing druids in Anglesey while all the aggro went on. What aggro? You know, Bodicea and the Iceni. No, I don't know. Bodicea whipped together all these savage dykes. Savage warriors then. Anyhow, they went on the rampage and blew the Ninth Legion away. She crucified 70,000 people and really went over the top till Old Suetonius turned up a few months later. Oh, from Anglesey? Hmm. I need another drink. Suetonius was a long time getting back, wasn't he? It wasn't as if we're ripping off his widow. He left all to a housekeeper who took off soon after he died. Just saving the old dear the bother, weren't we? Oh, well, you have a heart of gold, love. And Gimbert snatched up the Carolean yellow lady. I could have wept. I know how you must have felt. It was gorgeous. It was a fake. Really? Oh, splendid. I am pleased. <laughs> As I suspect these are. Nonsense. Genuine Victorian caricatures, Burne Jones. Almost certainly. 
Almost certainly Burne Jones style, but done by the remarkable Mr. Bexon. Balls, Lovejoy. I've already had a sweet offer for this. Two Americans. Was one blonde and beautiful? He wasn't exactly gross. <laughs> Why didn't you sell them? Oh, Lord Rycroft likes this sort of thing. He might just up the ante. Oh, Dandy, do me a favor. Well, two, actually. Let me photocopy those. And stall our American cousins for a couple of days. Why on earth should I? Because they're not Burne Jones, dear heart. But only you and I know that. For the moment. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh. You still in the area, then? Sure am. Been trying to acquire some of my uncle's effects. Yeah, I heard. Oh? Dandy Jack said you'd made him an offer. Ah, the drawings, yeah. I thought they were quite attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I might have to raise the bidding, though. Uh, this other dealer, Dandy Jack, he said you'd bought a chest of my uncle's belongings from him. Just junk, I'm afraid. I'd like to be the judge of that. I'm a pretty good judge of junk. <laughs> said you paid ten pounds for it? I'd like to buy the stuff. For nostalgic reasons, give you 20. Clearly, nostalgia ain't what it used to be. <laughs> I decided to leave them all in the urn. I can't face a publicity yet. All these TV people doing their interviews, they're such barbarians. I need to do more research. Why would he write a diary? then copy it out word for word, almost like forging his own work. And the clues. He'd do that. He'd leave clues. What do you mean? You never knew the man. I know the nature of the man. He'd leave riddles. He'd leave clues. They're in those diaries somewhere. Is this a clue? Hmm? Show me that. It's a work sketch of Dandy Jack's drawing. We're onto something. I can smell it. Read on. Oh, it does feel awful somehow, reading people's private diaries. No, Bexon wanted you to. He wanted them to be read, especially by somebody who's as curious and alert and as completely broke as I am. Hello, who is it? I want to speak to your maniac brother. <laughs> why? Why? Because he's wrecked my home, that's why. I would have had his bloody rent tomorrow. If you just shut your face a minute. I'm telling you, Charlie's not here. I see. Oh, I'm sorry, Mandy. You're looking for family mementos, eh? When a guy doesn't play fair, you have to take steps. Like breaking and entering here and in the museum. Careful what you say, Lovejoy. I wonder what the law would say about this. There's nothing illegal about what an antique dealer does in the privacy of his own home. Of course not. What were you going to sign this? Richard Wilson? I think I'll have you arrested. A hell you will. Don't act the wise ass with me. I'm warning you, you could just be stepping out of your league. Now, you just stepped out of character. I mean, Nicole, we don't figure that box of trash you sold me was all you had of our uncle's stuff. 
I don't like being threatened, Edward, and I suggest you get the hell out of here unless you want an ear lopped off. And kindly put that old master back where you found it. 